Hey everyone, thank you so much for being here today. My name is Denise, I'm also known as Hey Wig Sister on Instagram and Facebook. Today I'm here to bring you a wig review in partnership with Name Brand Wigs. This is a brand new style by Gabor called Dress Me Up. It's in the color SS Iced Mocha, which is GF18-12 SS. That's a 12, because I slipped, tripped over that word, slipped over that word. GF8-12 SS. This is a one of those kind of flat iron wave type styles and it's about shoulder length. If you want to know more, stick around. I would like to thank Name Brand Wigs for sending me this piece so I could show everybody, talk about it, get some more information out there about it so that when you are looking for your next wig, your new hair, you'll have all the information that you need. Please go check them out online. Their website is namebrandwigs.com. They have a lot of support at their website. They also have a blog with some interesting blog posts. So if you subscribe, you'll get some good tips that will help you on your wig wearing journey. All right, everyone, let's take a look at this one from all sides. So it's this uh, slight bendy wave that we have on this style, which I see a lot of people do with a flat iron. I'm not good at curling with flat irons, but if you like that look, that's what this has. It's a very slight bend. It's not really wavy all the way through. It gives it a really unique look and unique movement. It is pretty much all one length. There may be some very slight layers, but very, very slight. It's mainly all one length, as you can see here. And on me, it goes down past my collarbone and you can find my measurements in the description if you want to compare them to yours to try to figure out how long it'll be on you. Now this piece has a lace front and a really unique extended mono part which we'll look at when I take this off. It's a, it's, they've got, they came out with two new styles recently, actually they may have come out with four. I have two of them and they have that cool parting space but let's take a look at this lace front. Gabor does a great job on their lace fronts, especially on these brunettes. Sometimes on a dark brunette, those lace fronts can look a little knotty, but I'm finding that the Gabor lace fronts are looking great. And this is the left going over to the right part. And you can't move that part because it is just a mono part, which you'll see in just a moment. Now this wig is made with heat friendly fibers, which gives it a really realistic feel and tamps down the shine. It does not look shiny. But because this is a link that will rub up on your clothing, you'll want to educate yourself on how to care for heat friendly fibers. I have a video that will talk about that and teach you that. So I will make sure that's linked in the description below. Let's take a look at this one inside the cap so that I can show you what I mean by a very interesting part. Look at that part. So we've got a lace front, basically goes ear tab to ear tab, and then we've got that part that curves around at the crown. So interesting, really gives this natural movement all along that part line because each of those fibers are tied individually into this versus on a weft track where they're sewn in in a track and they really can only move up and down. You've got real natural movement. There's just a little bit of permatease behind here. We've got soft ear tabs with bendable stays, extended nape, Velcro adjusters. The rest is open wefting for coolness. Let me put it back on. Now I would consider this a moderate density piece. It definitely has a good amount of hair and it definitely looks thick and luxurious. It's not super heavy density, but I wouldn't consider this light density. There's just the tiniest bit of permatease right at the crown. I can kind of feel the crimpy fibers when I put my hair in there, but right here where I said there was permatease, there really isn't. I would say this is a very flat piece. It doesn't have volume around the top, and even if you want to get volume, it just, it just doesn't have the permatease to give you that volume. Any little crimpy fibers it has really just are at the cap level to help disguise the cap, but if you don't like wigs with permatease, do not be afraid of this one because it really doesn't have any real noticeable permatease. And because of the way the bends are about halfway down, it does give it some volume on the sides. So that's where the volume really is due to the 
style. The Bora caps fit very, very true to average. I would say this is a great one if you are average to just slightly larger than average. There's tons of stretch. This is fitting me a little big and I have a 22 inch circumference. I do have to cinch it in, I think up to a 22 and a half. I'm real comfortable saying this will fit probably even up to a 23 depending on how comfortable you are and how tight you like your wigs but this has plenty of room to spare for my measurements so even if you're a fair amount larger than I am I do think this might fit you so go look in the description for my measurements let's talk about this color SS iced mocha again the code is GF8 12 SS this is a beautiful medium dark brown with some lighter brown highlights it is slightly rooted. That's what the SS means in the color code. So we do have, it's a little bit darker at the root. And I would just consider this a really beautiful, rich, medium to medium dark brown. It's got nice dimension from the, the light brown that's in it, but it doesn't look super highlighted or streaky. And there is just a little bit of lightness at those ends compared to the rest which gives it real interest. You can tell that the ends are just slightly lighter than the rest of it. Otherwise, they did a great job of blending in that light brown. And I would consider that light brown to be more neutral to ashy. And there may even be hints of a little bit of blonde, like little blonde strands here and there, which make this a really interesting dynamic color really beautiful it's not overly warm i'm not really seeing red in this one i think that's a question i get about these uh, dark browns is does it pull red or auburn i would say no on this piece i'm not seeing that throw it back on show it one more time inside and then we'll go outside make sure it's in the right spot all right everybody let's get outside so you can see this color outside thanks once again to name brand wigs for allowing me to show this I'll talk to you guys in my next video. And here is this color outside. I have not split up the zigzag part on this one yet. I've just finger combed it. So it's hanging in the face. It hasn't been combed through much or anything. But I want to take advantage of the good weather and the light. Get close. All right, thanks for watching.